All right, what's up? So I'm going to show you my strategy for clearing 1220 in the adverse environment for the new boss stage for the Arknights chapter. And the reason for this is because a lot of people are having issues with getting the rewards claimed for clearing this stage. A lot of people are not understanding the mechanics of having no friendly agent operators or agents that are identified uh, die. So I'm going to show you my setup. You want to bring Melinar skill 3 M3. Uh, if you don't have a build, I don't. I just pulled him today, but he's not built yet. So just borrow one from a friend if you have to. Uh, just going to need like a medic defender or your, your best defender. So I'm going to use Neural, skill 2, M2. Um, going to use Gravel, Yato, Yato Alter to stall the boss and cycle. Going to use Perfumer, Perfumer and Cura a little bit later to stall the boss when we transition to the second half of the stage. And then we're going to use like Serta to melt the boss and clear some mobs out early on. Uh, and then, you know, the rest of the operators will I'll explain. So first things first, you want to deploy Myrtle facing left to pop this box here. Put down Yaro here to catch this first NPC that walks in or citizen. I don't know if you have to identify this one, but a lot of people in some guides or other videos were kind of like saying, oh, well, people are letting this guy leak or, you know, that's why people aren't meeting the condition. So just to be on the safe side, make sure to let this guy get identified. So pop, you know, a Vanguard or somebody down early. And once you pop this box of Myrtle, you can pop her skill. Put on our facing right. Okay, pop her skill. Cal facing down. Growl here to stall the boss. Monster here. Catch this person. You gotta alter here. Pop this box. And as soon as, uh, like, Cal or Malna skills up, just pop it when these enemies get here so they don't leak. You can just pop monster skill, it's fine. And then here you want to be fairly liberal at Myrtle skill, even if you're at cap or, you know, you're going to be staying at cap because you want to make sure you have enough DP to keep cycling. And at some point we have to sneak Surter in because we're going to put her in this tile facing down. So she's a little bit more costly. You just want to make sure you have enough DP to keep the boss stalled. We don't want to, it's too early to do that now. We also can swap into Neural here now. And then just pop the skill. Yada Alter here to stall. Uh, Yada Alter won't quite do enough damage to cause the boss to go to half HP. When the boss goes to half HP, it's going to create a clone of itself. You know, if you're not confident, you don't, you know, if you don't want to use Yada Alter here or something, just use like another like fast redeploy or somebody that won't do as much damage. But you know, for the, by and large, like because we're using Gravel and regular Yado, like you're, you're never going to really push the push the half HP until we want to set up and stall the boss later. So it should be fine. Okay, make sure to let this guy pat out of the box a little bit just to make sure you catch the boss here. It should be fine. So the reason the reason why I stall here with fast redeploys is because a lot a lot of setups are putting defenders here and then like you have to worry about these people getting identified and then the enemies being here and then clumping up it's just easier to let everything pat by and get you know it, it's just less to balance really here all you're worried about is just keeping the boss stalled with a fast redeploy it's a lot more simplistic also at this point we're going to be at about like once we get to 16 kills just let these enemies pat in and Delay Malinar's skill a little bit. You don't need to pop it immediately because you want to extend the value so that we don't get too clumped up here. So, like, let them clump it first. You know, use Cal skill. You can get Sneak Sitter in now. Alright. And then, let's keep the boss stalled. Let them build up a bit here so when this archer comes in this is when you want to pop Melinar's skill uh, and now yeah. pop Cal's skill too 
As soon as one of these guys gets identified, pop service skill. We can slow it down here. So as soon as this green guy's here, you can allow the boss to pat to this tile and start setting up here. But if you keep cycling and holding the boss here, it's fine for a little bit longer. But it, it's we can let the boss move at this point into put into the other position. But you know if it's easier for you to not let that happen, that's fine. Just keep stalling. Um, we're just gonna use Yada Alter here. Clear these enemies out so we don't have any leaks or any problems. Portal skill. Grab the stall here. Some sort of skill. Okay, and get rid of Surter. If Myrtle skills down and this green guy kills her, it's fine. If you can keep her alive, all the better. You're just going to redeploy her if need be. So she's probably going to die here, which is fine. Part neural skill here to keep her alive. At this point, uh, we're going to drop Cure with Perfume to stall. Now, as soon as the screen guy's in range, like he is now, pop on our skill to kill him. Don't take monster off the field because this guy can jump over. You want to make sure that he gets killed. Okay, that's fine. All right, now back out, Malinar, Cal. We're gonna reset up. You're gonna pop these boxes while we're stalling. Just use like gravel. We can speed up a bit here. Put Blaze here facing right next to Neural. Here you can just pop like her shield and just cycle and stall here a bit. Okay. Myrtle here facing right just to get DP. So, also when the boss dies and then regenerates after the swirl pool uh, with like their AOE damage they're gonna put these like things ab above the heads of all your operators that are deployed it should be fine we have neural heal and stuff but you can delay like putting operators down because of that and then just summon after but it's usually not too much of an issue but if you don't have healing it can become a problem so right now we're just stalling. We're gonna pop Cal here facing the bottom side. Molnar here facing top side. Monster here facing right. Now we're set up here. As soon as Molnar's skill is up, we can just pop it. Uh, if Kura dies here, finally, we, we're gonna have to back off Perfumer at some point. Um, but yeah, just try to pop Perfumer's skill and keep her alive, keep getting DP. And then as soon as we can just go. Now we're going to be at half. So now now what we have to do is we have to stall the boss. I'm going to stall him on this tile again, the, the clone. As soon as he starts padding. And then... Sword is going to get deployed here. And as soon as we can... Because right now the boss is immortal. As soon as the boss is no longer immortal, we're going to pop start a skill to kill. This is just so we don't have to worry about this one padding through. We want him to get identified, of course, so we can attack. Sort of skill now. Keep this one stalled. It's fine. Okay. Back off, you got alter. Okay, at this point, what you're going to have to do now is we can pop Silver Ash um, here to help the right side. Actually, you know what? No, we're going to have to actually, you're going to wait. After after the skill is done, then we're going to summon. But what we can actually do here 
put Perfumer back down, just to keep people alive. Just to keep Cal's HP up, because it's really important that Cal... If, like, Perfumer dies here, it's fine. We're just using that for the skill duration. Okay, now, what we're going to do is we're going to stall and then pop Malinar's skill. So we can use Cure again. Metal skill here to heal. Myrtle skill, Silver Ash. Okay, when the boss reach ha half HP here, one of your operators is going to get marked. Okay, usually it's somebody who's further away and isolated. So. Okay, so it's Cure, which is fine. So right now, you're just going to wait. We're actually going to get rid of Myrtle here. So we have a redeployment. That's fine. And then what we're going to do is deploy Surter here and pop her skill. As soon as it's immediately available, or as soon as we can attack the bot. Okay, pop Surter skill here. Monster skill. Kill the top lane. Okay, you down. Just all this guy so he gets caught by Milaner's skill. We didn't need Aya here. I just want to make sure to stall this guy out. Finish him off with Gata Altar. Alright, and then that should give you the clear. If for some reason Malnar died there, that's why I deployed Aya just as a backup. You just want to make sure to not let, let those... Because those, those four enemies, once they're attacking somebody... If they attack them long enough and they don't get killed, they're going to jump past them and then they can leak. So you want to make sure to kill them. And then that should give you the clear and then let you collect the rewards. Alright, see you later.